Hello everyone, welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy weekend, uh, weekend, a general energy reading for your weekend. Um, and as I promised yesterday during the lives on Instagram and here, happy hour, I want to do a full, a new moon in Taurus reading for us. I don't know. What happened to my nail? Sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I want to do a new moon in reading. Oh, goodness. A new moon in Taurus reading. <laughs> I'm a little tongue tied this morning. Um, I did do a quick reading for it yesterday on Instagram. Um, that is only going to be available until around, like, I want to say, 5.30 ish this evening on the 3rd of May. Yes, because obviously those stories only last for 24 hours. Um, but it was a really good reading. And then the reading that I did for happy hour last night kind of mirrored that a little bit. So if you want to check out, check them both out, I recommend you do so. You might get something out of it. But during those moments, I said, I well, actually, it was yesterday, actually. I said during morning coffee, I said that I wanted to do a new moon in Taurus reading for the weekend. So here we are. Yes, this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All, all, as always, if you'd like to look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. I'll get you all set up. All right, guys. So let's just get straight to it. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend. But also, um, please give us some guidance, some insight, and what it is we would really need to know right now about this new moon in Taurus during our weekend of Friday, May 3rd to Sunday, May 5th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's see what we get here. New Moon in Taurus. New Moon in Taurus, please, Spirit, for our weekend edition. What do we need to know? What are we experiencing? Best guidance, please, for handling this new moon energy. A lot of people have been having a rough time with it. I mean, I had a little bit of a rough week, but that's just because I was, I've been so, so busy. We have this one last shuffle. New moon in Taurus, May 2019. Let's see what we've got, guys. New moon in Taurus, please, spirit. Thank you so much. New moon in Taurus. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Ah-ha-ha! -ha! Look at that. The moon came out, guys. That's so cool. All right. Underneath the deck, the overall energy is justice. Now, I did a little bit of a pre-shuffle. And justice, the star, the four of swords, and the ten of cups came out during that pre-shuffle. We will talk about that in as well. As I set this up, I'll talk about it. Okay, look at that. Um, so to me, that was like saying um, your manifestations are coming through. Oh, wow, look, there's the star. The Three of Cups, very interesting. Um, to me, it was saying that your manifestations are coming. It literally just said, just like chill and wait for it because it's coming. 
the, uh, between Justice, the Star, the Ten of Cups, but then the Four of Swords. It was the Four of Swords that said to me, dude, like you see all this here? Just chill. <laughs> Just chill, because it's coming. Um, you might need to work on changing your perspective a little bit. Because um, the Four of Swords can represent that. But uh, I don't know, for anyone that's resonating with that, I just wanted to share it. And we do have some of the same cards. We have the Star and Justice here. Now, the thing about it is the Star is reversed this time. You also have Strength, which is reversed. Okay. Give me a few moments, guys. I just want to sit with this for a second. See if I can start to pick out the storyline here. So, okay, we'll start here. You have strength in the reverse. Um, that is... Narcissism. Uh, too much ego, <laughs> that's for sure. Although I feel like in some ways, in some ways I feel like you are giving up some sort of fight. Some of you are, strength in reverse. Now this also could be fear too, um, coupled with the moon here. Now this is obviously in this card, the moon it is um, full, right? But this also represent, it's representing the, the new moon that we're talking about here. So this new moon in Taurus, this is very interesting. Um, please excuse the silence guys. It's taking me a little longer to pick out the message here. So, okay, moving forward, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups. Uh, Self-mastery, union, body, mind, and spirit, entrepreneurship, uh, celebration, friendship. There is a sense, honestly, there is a sense of releasing some sort of struggle towards something. Okay? Um, Almost like I want to say you're giving up, but you're not really giving up because this feels more like with strength in reverse, this feels more like for whoever is resonating with this side of the story, it feels more like you are, it was your pride and your ego that had you keeping, uh, staying in one direction or going, working towards something, persevering towards something in some way. And now you're, You're not. Maybe you're just taking a break too, because next, coupled with the moon there, it's like, mm, yeah, but everything's not exactly as it seems. You might be in a period during this full, this this new moon uh, uh, over the weekend where, you know, your strength is fleeting. You're you're feeling a lot of self doubt, um, maybe a lot of fear. Your ego is flaring up like crazy. Uh, watch, there could be some tension with people around you. Um, why, like keep, work on keeping your egos balanced or in check here. Now, this, I'm, I'm not going to lie, you guys, this is a really conflicting message today because then at the, at the bottom of the reading here, you have divine wisdom, page of pentacles. So that's telling me that you're, you're, You've leveled up in a way, you know, your divine wisdom, that the, the, the divine wisdom that you have cultivated over this period of time, however long, really doesn't matter. But the divine wisdom that you've cultivated has you stepping in to your power is what I just heard or stepping up, making some sort of new commitment, <clears throat> honoring that commitment or 
being in, in some sort of like new level, right? Because I do see the Page of Pentacles as a level up. Page of Pentacles is also about, could be a message, a, a messenger. But then you have the star in reverse, the four of cups and the five of swords. And honestly, the star in reverse, the four of cups, it does kind of resonate with this strength card in reverse here. There's some sort of, well, first of all, the star in reverse could be you're, you're coming out of a healing phase or there's resistance towards some sort of healing. There's resistance towards some sort of wish fulfillment, some manifestation, whatnot, whatever. There's, there's combativeness, okay, with this five of swords. This is the reason, this Five of Swords energy is the reason why you have this weird energy with the strength in reverse, the star in reverse, the moon, and the Four of Cups. But here's the other thing about this, because with this divine wisdom, it's almost like you're not even phased by it. Like 1111. <laughs> you're see, you kind of see it for, you kind of, really do kind of see this Five of Swords energy for what it is. And in this energy of self-mastery, yes, I do. I knew I wanted to switch this for some reason because here, uh, here we go. Because then in this, in this energy of self-mastery and union within body, mind, and spirit, whatnot, you're like, whatever, dude. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna entertain this. I'm just not, okay? Or either you're not entertaining it or like you're completely, I, mm, yes, maybe you're completely walking away. Maybe you're completely leaving the situation behind or you're just like not engaging with it right now and just being like, whatever, I'm going to let this pass because everything is not as it seems, the moon. Okay. So then to get back to the flyers that came out to this morning... Well, right before, I, when I was doing like a little bit of a pre-shuffle before I started the video, we had Justice, the Star, Four of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. It's like that's the continuation of that energy here. So whatever is going on with this new moon, it might be making people a little crazy. Okay, sure. It's not a full moon, but it's a new moon. So the energies are maybe a little more, are, are not as intense um, or maybe a little bit different, but you... Maybe you're the type of person or you're around the type of people in which they're affected by the new moon or this new moon just is, is doing some shit to people. But I don't feel like whatever's going on around you, I don't feel like you're that phased by it. It's, all, it's like you're seeing the bigger picture. Yeah. Strength in reverse here is saying it's as if you're giving you're 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 letting go of the struggle. I don't even want to call it that. I guess you could say perseverance or whatever whatever strength you're having to put forward to get through a situation or to reach a goal or something like that. This might be a weekend to just rest. It might be a weekend to just rest and, or at least rest as much as you can. You know, not try and do anything extraneous or crazy or whatnot. It's very interesting energy. All right, well, I guess we'll get into the clarifiers now. Let's go with the unicorns. There's some sort of missed opportunity here. In some way, I'm, I'm not really getting a clear read on that. It's weird. With this four of cups in reverse, someone, someone doesn't care. Honey badger, don't give a fuck. <laughs> really, someone doesn't care about it. Is not worried about it. Is not stressed out. Hmm. 
Okay, all right, I'm sorry. I was trying to see if I could get something, but it wasn't coming through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the clarifiers here. I totally just spazzed, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I totally forgot where I was and got lost in the sauce. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get some clarifiers. We're gonna start with Strength, the Moon, the Star, the Four of Cups, and the Five of Swords. All of this is in reverse here. I feel like there's some sort of fighting. And it may not actually be like you're actually fighting. Or it's just that there's some tension or like animosity or people are just kind of like mm, with each other in some way. Because you have great cards here. The Star, Strength, Justice. But the star and the strength is in reverse. And then you have the moon with the five of swords. There's some sort of misunderstanding. But things are not as they seem. So it's not even like you can really say, you could really like, it's not even like you can really be like, oh, well, it is an actual fight because things aren't as they seem. So that's almost why I feel like some of you are just not even giving into it, okay? One more shuffle, and then I'm gonna get these clarifiers going. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's see what we've got for this top row here. What is what is this, Spirit? What is this? What is going on here? Five of Pentacles, yeah. Someone feels left out. Someone felt left out. That's enough. What is this? Strength, interesting. And the Two of Wands. Wow. And, sorry about that guys. I don't know what's going on out there. Anyway, underneath the deck is the King of Pentacles. People are crazy. I don't know what, I don't know why they have to honk so much. Okay. Um, oh, and then the two of cups just wanted to show up. There is a, someone feel, someone's upset. Someone's in their feelings. Someone's upset about something. I'm not really sure what it is. There's some sort of combativeness here. Okay, and it's almost like it's it's uh, yeah, it is a ego battle strength five of pentacles Someone does not want to be feeling left out in the cold not good enough blah 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 There is a decision that needs to be made in this situation two of wands And that decision is between your ego or what's right for the situation balance harmony Someone is very rooted. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus specifically, that is the king of pentacles. It's a fixed sign. You also could be dealing with a Leo, strength. Okay. I honestly just want to tell you guys, whatever, who, for whomever is resonating with this, however this resonates with you, I really just want to tell you guys to let this blow over. Like, maybe not even engage over the weekend, like, during the full, like, the, the peak of the, the new moon and whatnot. Just, I really just kind of want to tell you guys to let this blow over. Because with this Five of Swords energy here, this is just super combative. And nobody's going to win. Lose-lose situation here. Okay. Now, also, for some of you that... If you recently like just went nonchalant or like unbothered or not even concerned or whatnot, just super, what's the word I'm looking for? Detached even, um, I feel that might've been justified. Okay, because also keep in mind, you have down here this, this perspective that's just like, mm, no, actually, I'm good. I'm balanced and I'm starting a new chapter, a new phase in my life. And this shit is not part of it. It's kind of what I'm picking up here. Okay. Uh-huh. So now let's get, let's clarify this bottom row then. 
Divine Wisdom, Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. This really just feels like you're just good. You're in your own, you're in your own zone. You're, you know, you're you're feeling confident, you're balanced, you're working on yourself, you're, you know, you're happy, having a good time, enjoying your life, enjoying yourself, enjoying this new level that you've reached, the page of pentacles, all this this wisdom that you've gained, all the things that you understand and all the things that you're working towards understanding, moving forward and all that. I mean, I, this just feels really good for you. So there's no reason for you to let yourself get down by this Five of Swords energy. And you're not, because with the, with, with the Divine Wisdom card here, and then also the Moon, which is up right here, I feel like you, you know, you're like, okay, things are not as they seem. I can see through this. I see what's going on here. I'm not engaging. I'm not letting myself get torn down by that. Okay? Well, let's get some clarity here. Divine Wisdom, Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Please, Spirit. Please, Spirit. The Hierophant. Wow, it's crossed. It's like sideways here. Queen of Cups. Is that the High Priestess? Good golly. Good golly. Underneath the deck. Overall energy. Yeah, Three of Wands. See, okay. You're on the path, you know exactly what's going on here. You're just like, all right, cool, I'll wait it out. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's the magician. Whoa. This is so interesting. Normally, the Hierophant with the magician, it could be a little bit of a, um, Maybe a cause for concern, you could say. Uh, the magician is manipulative, can be. I mean, it, it, the, the magician knows how to manipulate the energies to manifest. That doesn't have to be a bad thing. The Hierophant is society, learning, teaching, university, institution, religion, status quo, tradition, all that kind of stuff, right? So these two together could sometimes be cause for concern. It might be a little bit of a red flag. But here, you have these two energies balanced by the Queen of Cups. Okay? And it's almost as if the Queen of Cups is, like, in charge here. She's laying the, the foundation. She's the emotional reality, the emotional foundation of the situation. That's allowing it to, you know, it's allowing you to remain balanced. The Queen of Cups is compassion, empathy, intuition, psychic ability, unconditional love, that kind of thing. And so what I'm seeing here with the Magician and the Hierophant, you are, in fact, manifesting your reality through through what you've learned because the Hierophant is kind of similar to this divine wisdom energy. It's kind of what I'm feeling about it, okay? And you're tempered or you're keeping in mind that, you know, everybody go through, goes through their struggles every once in a while. I, I, I really honestly believe this is not really affecting you the way it may have in the past, okay? You may even be just like keeping to yourself, doing your own thing, you know. But there's there is a there is a strong energy of not being bothered by this. Whatever this is for you, however this resonates for you. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna close out the reading. We're gonna use the Crystal Mandala deck as our oracle for the weekend. Our weekend edition. All right, guys. For our weekend, for this new moon in Taurus. Now also, I just, I just remembered, Taurus came out, the King of Pentacles, and we're talking about this new moon in Taurus, okay? Um, this, uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is a little bit of a strange, strange reading 
for the new moon. I'm almost even wondering if, uh, well, I mean, I'm just going with the flow here, reading it as it comes through. So hopefully that resonates with you guys. Alrighty. So best message, please spirit to close out this reading here. For our weekend edition, May 3rd to May 5th. Yeah, I t uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, you see, I said, I said, if you guys, this might be a weekend to just like chill if you can. And looky here, we have Archangel Remiel and Argonite. Rest. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, a Rooney. Oh, it's card number two, Eric. <laughs> okay, here we go. Rest. We bring you the gift of rest. We ask you to reflect on what you truly need. Do you need a break for an hour or so to relax and recharge? Or do you need to change your lifestyle and more regularly include rest so you sustain your vitality? sense of well-being and creative energy do you need rest that is active that helps you switch off your mind and come out of your head into your body do you need rest that is physically still to deeply replenish your energy res reserves at a deeper cellular level do you need mental rest to let go of worry and stress or emotional rest to let you off an emotional roller coaster and into some simple acceptance and happiness for a time Rest can happen in different ways and on different levels. We bring the gift of all types of rest and ask that you choose that which feels best for you at this time. Take it easy this weekend, guys, if you can. And I already feel like you're not trying to get engaged in, or you're not, <laughs> you're not trying to engage in any sort of arguments petty bullshit, whatever, whatnot, I would recommend just like laying low, laying low if you can. You already see through whatever it is in front of you that you're kind of like, mm, five of swords, mm, the moon, ugh, yeah, strength in reverse, yeah. I'm not, I'm not touching that. You already see it. So just chill. All right, guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yes, take care. Bye.